we're going to check out. Somebody wanted me to check out Uruk GNU Linux. So I got this thing running on GNOME boxes. So I had to put the screen size in 1280 by 720. I uh, didn't have so I didn't have to install it on VirtualBox. I didn't have the guest edition. So this is the way it booted up, and it has the Ubiquity installer. I was going to go ahead and install it, uh, but I thought let's just run it in GNOME boxes. So uh, this is the way it booted up. Now you're going to find something about it that's really annoying. So bear with me here. Uh, here is your sound, little <laughs> sound. There is your um, there is your internet connections and the screen reader. There is your clock and calendar, and here is the menu. This is a built on a mate 112 and it's based on Debian Trisquil I think that's how it's pronounced uh, I'm not too sure what the Trisquil is but panel. Desktop frame. there's your frame little panel items. panel at the bottom there show desktop Pluma LibreOffice control center there it is you rook GNU Linux Software Center. Let's have a look at that. There's the Mate Terminal. There's Kaja File Browser. Plink. And there it is. Kaja 112.7. Pretty nice looking theme there. And there's your terminal. There's your. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's uh, stop. Yes, please. So let's turn the screen reader off. So here's the little software center. Pretty neat little software center. App basket installed software. Get software. And there's the little control center. Got system settings. Pretty clean looking. Uh, G parted to uh, accessibility startup in session. Let's have a look at that. Okay, it pulls up another dialog. So let's see how do you go back there and personalize hardware, the display setting, mouse settings, and everything. I guess it is going to pull up the normal little dialog there. So pretty neat little uh, control center and software Synapse package manager of the software center networking so that's pretty neat and uh, let's see what else was there that's all there and then here's your little uh, advanced menus what it boots with now it probably won't look this big and in your face I have this thing running on the known boxes and seven what is it uh, eight uh, 1280 by 720 so that's why it's kind of big you know so let's have a look at it see what's installed let's go to um, accessories uh, it's got the little screen reader applet thing I think that's what this is here and document viewers of course calculators and all that all the mate stuff mate terminal pluma text editor screen reader oh there's the screen reader and take screenshot USB writers and everything there's GIMP color selector simple scan internet's got uh, a browser web browser luge there's Thunderbird chat and all that office LibreOffice other the config editor mate system monitor Let's see what it's using on memory there it is your GNU Linux release 2 using kernel Linux 4966 and this is a mate 112 and let's see what he's using 563 not bad and so let's go to programming sound and video it's got a little converter there's pulse audio control rhythm box so it's got a nice selection of software it's not you know too loaded up snap package managers a printer setting Uric clean it's got a little cleaner there 
clean logs, clean cash, so that's pretty neat. And let's see what else it has. Gpart it, Snap Package Manager. Preferences, preferences. There's the appearance, backups, display settings, Bluetooth adapters, the mate tweak, and the welcome. Let's see what the welcome looks like. I didn't remember the welcome popping up. So there's the little welcome hardware apps, almost like the Linux Mint one. So that's not bad. And it tells you all about it, release and everything. And let's see what else we can get into. Mate tweak. I wonder if they have, uh, let's see, interface. They got the little panel switcher. They got Cupertino, uh, Ubuntu Mate, all those little things there. And then you just got uh, MetaCity, Marco, no com positive, no uh, compiz, I mean. You got Marco, Compton with compositing, MetaCity, Compton with compositing, so that's pretty cool. And uh, let's go, let's see if we can get to the regular control center. Oh, that takes you to that control center. So let's see if they have the mate control center. Here's the package manager. That takes you to the Synap package manager. So let's see, how do you get to, did they have the regular control center? System preferences. I wonder if it had the regular mate uh, control center, or that's the one they're using. Here's the light DM greeter. I guess that's the one that uh, I don't see the regular control center, so it's going to pop up this little control center. And that just takes you to let's see if that pops up the appearance. So, yeah. There's the mate appearance, so that's how you get to it. There's no, uh, I don't see any mate control center. So let's have a look at the background since we're here. And there's the background, it's got the mate backgrounds, and then it has some other, that one looks pretty neat, some gears. That's a pretty neat little wallpaper there. And let's see what that one is, stop sign, sign something. This one, I remember this one from some other distro, can't remember. And that one's pretty nice. Not uh, full screen though. Not a wide screen. So it's got a good selection of wallpapers. And let's see, which one was the default? It's that one. And uh, themes, it just has the mate, ambience mate, it's got the black mate, it's got the blue submarine and all the mate, and it's got the Yuruk Y, and then fonts and everything, robos, using the robo font. So there that is, and let's see, go back to that, you've got preferred application, desktop, notify, screenshot, they got the cleaner, windows management, startup, system, Keyboard language, login settings, hardware, software. So that's pretty neat. Not a bad little system here. Uh, right click, get to the restore missing files. Got all the little uh, right clicks there. I like the icons. Let's see what icons those were. Let's see if we can go back. Didn't really look at the icons, appearance. See what kind of icons it has. Have to come in here to custom and icons. What is that? Masala, 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 masala dark. I guess that's how it's pronounced. I'm always mispronouncing these names. They're so funny. And then it's got the Ubuntu. It's got the Mate Fienza and and the humanity and let's see window pointer just got the paper C which is just like the DMC so I don't know what the difference is there and there's all your other themes controls and everything so pretty cool looks really nice out of the box looks good it's mate it's mate 112 so it's gonna have let's see I think it has that color tab thing. What's it called? 
because it's a Mate 112. Yeah, it has the color tab. So if you notice, the new Mates don't have this color tab anymore. You used to be able to change the color of your desktop, you know, different little items and things like that. But since they went to full GTK3, uh, they had to get rid of this color tab, which is pretty neat. I remember using this sometimes. You can get in there and goof it all up change color on everything and the way to get back is just uh, select the theme again so there it is uh, pretty neat little environment uh, it's mate of course and it's not loaded down with a whole lot of software it's got a lot good selection of software on it and it has their own little uh, what's it called control center and cleaner and what else did they have let's go through all here that that uh, whatever this is this is really annoying it was it booted up made some music screen reader on <laughs> and then you're I mean I can, every time you do I something can, it's telling you what you're doing which is kind of annoying so pretty neat you gotta turn that off and it's just a uh, nice mate environment. They're the your cleaner. They got the cleaner. They got the welcome, and that little control center cleaned it up a little bit. So <laughs> in this Europe thing, I gotta turn that off. off. So there it is, and there's your little plant man at the bottom. You know, it's a mate. It's quick. There it is, working. Show desktop and what is that it's some kind of little web browser let's have a look at this web browser never heard of that a browser and there's the software center let's see if that browser pops up there it goes so there's the libre and there's the browser it almost looks just like firefox and where's the about add-ons it's got a blocker on it quit help uh, browser about browser a browser 57 it looks just like uh, see this uh, fortress tris quill not too sure what that is I think that was an. I think that's a another distro. I'm pretty sure, but uh, there it is. Uh, there's your little software center. There's the terminal. There's your Cosmo file browser. Pretty neat little environment. Just didn't care for this screen reader thing, but I guess it's useful to somebody. There's your little sound. Get to the sound settings. I didn't really see the clock or anything. Didn't boot up with a clock. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's in the center. I passed right by it. Actually, I did see it, but I just completely forgot it was right there. So that's how they have it set up. Time and date in the middle, and then it's almost like the gnome set up. So there it is. Uh, it's just a mate. It's uh, got a lot of nice software on it, and some of their own little uh, designs on things, like that control panel and cleaner and stuff. Pretty neat. All right, I guess I want to wrap this up here. This was... Uruk GNU Linux 2.0. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here. All right, I'm out.